The impact of Canadian singer Buffy St. Marie reaches wider than just a musical career. For years, she has identified as Indigenous, but now a new documentary has revealed that is not her true identity. Laverne McGee visited Six Nations near Brantford today to get that community's perspective. The voice that once brought joy, pride and jubilation now brings scandal, suspicion and sadness. Buffy St. Marie's iconic status in the Indigenous community has been unquestioned for years. But a new CBC documentary has revealed that the Oscar award winning six time Juno winner is actually of Italian heritage born in the United States and has been fraudulently posing as Native Canadian throughout her 60 year career. The documentary alleges that her white adoptive parents are in fact her biological parents, according to a birth certificate that states she was born in 1941 in Massachusetts. Elizabeth Doxeter is a member of the Six Nations near Brantford. She's an educator, author and shop owner specializing in preserving native culture, who like many idolized Buffy. We didn't have anybody to look up to. We couldn't turn on the TV and see someone, right, that, that uh, represented us. So it was like a celebration there. But it's still harmful now because it wasn't true. Some people we spoke with here at the Six Nations of the Grand River say that the story about Buffy has opened up old wounds. She should have probably, you know, been honest and come right out in the beginning and said, well, you know, I'm not, you know, native. She should apologize, obviously, for what she's done. It's as simple as that. But I don't think it's right at all. Um, it, colonization for years it's been hard to try and prove that you're indigenous and native because with like the 60 scoop and everything records have been wiped away so it's hard to trace back your lineage and i feel like a lot of people taking advantage of that they can just easily say i'm native and don't have the proof right in response to the allegations in the documentary buffy released a statement on social media stating in part i know who i am and that her mother told her she was adopted there are also those who say they still support Buffy. Oh, I believe Buffy. I've been Buffy fan since I was <laughs> 16, since I even heard about Buffy. Doxeter says this is causing extreme damage to members of her community. To exploit the worst of our experiences and romanticize it and present it as your truth and your history when it's not, really causes harm to the people that have actually experienced that. Star, star, Laverne McGee, CHCH News.